Nine metres below this manhole cover in Sackville Gardens, Manchester, lies the culverted Shooters Brook. Shooters Brook is one of Manchester's hidden rivers. In the 18th century, courting couples would wander along the stream through woods to the River Medlock. On summer nights, lanterns would be hung in the trees. Of course, times change, and by the middle of the 19th century, the area was choked in industry, and the stream had become heavily polluted. Shuttersbrook was covered and hidden in a culvert. No accurate maps existed of the river's true route. New development of Manchester University requires accurate mapping to allow for precise piling for the new build. Murphy surveys were commissioned as the main contractor to carry out a 3D laser survey of the culvert. Access holes were located in Sackville Gardens and in the basement of the NCP car park on London Road. Murphy worked in conjunction with IWJS who were responsible for the health and safety and assisting with the tra traverse through the tunnels. Once access to the brook had been located and following extensive research, plans were in place to carry out the survey. The necessary teams gathered and the equipment was put in place. Entry to the culvert was through a manhole in the basement of the car park on London Road. The culvert was about two metres below the surface and equipment was erected to allow for safe entry. Intensive safety checks were carried out on the equipment before entry. Constant checking of gas was carried out at all times. A dummy run of the laser scanner was carried out in the car park. Finally, everything was cleared to go. Cameras were lowered into the culvert and laser equipment lowered and then checked. The Leica scanner had to be set up and programmed to scan every 10 to 20 metres. survey was underway. Whilst underground the traversing team were constantly being monitored and watched by the surface crews. Slowly the scanning progressed. At one point a sharp right turn had to be re-scanned, the scanner having to be placed at exactly the right position. After around three hours, the 180 metres length of culvert had been scanned. The team finally emerged in Sackville Gardens close to the Alan Turing Memorial. Slightly dirty and a little tired, but the job was complete. Here the tunnel was 9 metres below the surface. 
There were congratulations all round and a group photograph was taken to celebrate a successful survey. All that was needed now was to download the results and to see if the exercise had worked. A job well done.